So my biggest lessons learned in crypto, it really took me about two years or so for it really all to just, you know, stick. Because it made sense to me, I understood it, but getting that experience really just kind of gave me that epiphany and had that light bulb go off. And I'm going to be sharing with you as well what I mean by that, because we hear these things all the time, but I'm going to be giving you a little bit of substance of my journey on why these two things really, really resonate with me just looking back. Because I started in crypto back in March of 2020. 20, back when Bitcoin was around, you know, four to five K, Ethereum was one hundred and forty two dollars. And I'm going to give you a little bit of substance about some of the cryptos I did well on right after this. Welcome back to the MTI show. I'm Mike, the investor, where we talk about crypto, NFTs and passive income. Now, when I got into crypto back of March of 2020, I've been in crypto a little bit over two years now. I bought Bitcoin around four to five K. I also bought quite a few of Ethereum at one hundred and forty two dollars of my average cost. I sold out at thirty one hundred. So I didn't sell at the complete top, but I did make some pretty good money. Now, these are two cryptos I really made some really good money on. Number one was Cardano. I bought into Cardano at three cents. Now, let me just give you a brief example. I didn't make what I should have made on it, but I didn't have that education and time and experience in the market so let's just say i would have put in 10k at that three cents when i originally bought in to cardano that would have bought me a little over 333k ada now cardano peaked out a little bit over three dollars so if i would have did that i would have actually 10x my money and turn that 10k into a million that was just one crypto i did really well as well on ethereum classic i started buying ethereum classic around five to six dollars and let me just give you a brief example let's just say you put 5k into ethereum classic at five dollars that would have bought you a thousand etc and ethereum classic peaked out around anywhere from 168 dollars to 170 so that would have gave you anywhere from 160 to 170 k that you turned 5k into now i didn't make the exact amount that the numbers i gave you but i did do pretty well because i was able to buy into crypto towards the end of the bear market now if we briefly look at this article here from medium you can see here and i'm going to blow this up you can see here's the march 2020 lows and as i mentioned in a previous video i had no idea what i knew now if i could just go back those two years i would be well over multiple millions of dollars in crypto and so as you can see here bottomed out it consolidated moved up consolidated more moved up had his last little drop and then it shot up to the moon and you can see we had that double top this was in may which was around 64k pulled all the way down shot back up to 69k in november and then we've been on a decline ever since and so if you look right here march 2020 to march 2021 ADA was around three cents and you can see a dollar fifty is where it hit. So even if I took profits at a dollar or a dollar fifty, that still would have been a nice amount of money. Four hundred K, five hundred K. Right. So I did well on ADA. I did well on Ethereum Classic. I did well on Ethereum. I did well on a lot of other plays as well. I'm still holding my XLM, still holding my XRP on my hardware wallets and other cryptos as well. However, those are just a few that I did exceptionally well on. However, I could have done so much better if I would have just hunkered down and added so much more quantity to it right quantity is the name of the game and taking profits is how you win the game and so now if we briefly just look over to my patreon i'm going to be completely transparent with you this is a crypto portfolio i started back the beginning of 2021 which was more of like my public portfolio that i was going to show and so this portfolio i started on voyager and voyager was pretty much the only you know crypto platform that i pretty much used far as like investing so my goal for this particular portfolio for voyager was to take this portfolio from zero to 100k and i invested about 20 to 25k max into this portfolio and so you can see just here for a few holdings vgx took up about most of it vtt ckb and some of this was a uh, digibyte which is another and then you can see i had 15 percent 
in USDC. Now, if you look right here, this is the same portfolio, but you can see the value amount is considerably less around 10k so i didn't take profits on all of those and you can see i'm still holding most of the cryptos in that portfolio that i was holding at the all-time highs and i'm just being a hundred percent transparent with you a lot of influencers a lot of youtubers won't actually show you this so i just want to show you my journey to let you know this is why you take profits and this is why i'm glad i took profits on some of the other cryptos i mentioned at the beginning of the video because i did pretty well on those i could have did a lot better because i didn't buy enough quantity and this is why quantity is the name of the game and taking profits is how you win the game so let's wrap it up the two biggest lessons i learned in crypto which took me really about a little bit over two years for it all to really just i mean stick and resonate is number one you want to accumulate quantity accumulating quantity is how you get into the game number two you want to take profits which is how you win the game and it doesn't matter if this is a project or a company that you feel is going to be here when the smoke clears that doesn't mean that we can't buy back into this crypto or this company right so you want to be mindful of not being completely married to a project and this is where i made the mistake on a couple of my cryptos where i could have took profits and actually bought back in at a lower price and actually added even more quantity and so i'm just wanting to be transparent with you and share my journey share some of my mistakes on this journey to hopefully help you on your journey to hopefully help you cut that learning curve and so remember use me as an informational source not for financial advice so if you gain some value from this video definitely smash the like button hit that subscribe button and if you're already subscribed be sure to hit that bell icon as well so that way you are notified when i put out new content but i'm mike the investor i will see you on the next one